Welcome back, everybody. I'm outside the Bel Air home where Hollywood socialite and actress Zsa, Zsa Gabor passed away this weekend. She and her now widower, Prince Frederick von Anhalt, lived here for their entire 30-year relationship. He provided care for Gabor during the later parts of her life, and sometimes that meant shielding Zsa, Zsa from reality. We keep everything positive. She doesn't know. When she lost her leg, she found out a year and a half later because I didn't tell her. She saw it all of a sudden, you know. I don't tell her bad news. I'm a positive guy. That's not the only thing Frederick didn't tell Zsa, Zsa The prince also kept her daughter's 2015 death a secret from her, all in the name of protecting his wife. In my life, it's all about Zsa, Zsa Gabor. I don't count. Everybody should get champagne, guys. We were with Zsa, Zsa in 1986 when she said, I do, for the ninth time, marrying Van Anhalt at her Bel Air home. She became his seventh wife. He's super nice and people always tell us, I mean, of me they make me 100 years old, I don't give a damn. And he doesn't give a damn what people say. His title has been called into question, with some reports claiming he wasn't born into a royal family. In 2007, he was found naked and tied to the steering wheel of his Rolls Royce, the victim of an alleged robbery. Never had a gun on my throat, so that's the, that's the first time I had something like that. Earlier that same year, he made headlines when he claimed to have had a decade-long affair with the late Anna Nicole Smith and took a DNA test to determine if he was the father of her daughter, Danny Lynn. Naturally, if it is positive, then it's my baby, and I shouldn't leave my baby alone. I should fight for her, and, and I will bring her home. The test was negative, and today, looking back, the now widowed prince has no regrets. I just took care of my wife. That was my duty as a husband. 